Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, this is going to be for the element of air. And I'm going to be asking some um, key questions, basically. Um, you know, this is for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, the questions I'm going to be um, really honing in on and asking first is what your head wants. It's kind of a look-see inside of you. Second question will be what your heart wants. And then um, the third, what your soul wants. So, yeah. Let's go see what we get. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <clears throat> what? Your head wants what your head wants. What does your head want? What does your mind want? What does your brain want? I make sure I word it right correctly. What does your head want? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does your head want? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What does your head want? Okay. <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does your heart want? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does your heart want? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What does your soul want? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What does your soul want? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What does your soul want? <clears throat> okay. 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 First off, what does your head want? And you see we got the two of swords. That's like being at a crossroads. That's like um, not being able to see clearly or um, not knowing which way to go. So what your head wants is to know which way to go. The thing is, is it feels like you're supposed to follow your intuition. Um, that's why your eyes are covered. Now, you could take off this covering, you know, feel what your intuition wants you to feel. Which way should you go? That, you know, I feel like that's what your head, you know, what your head wants, basically what I'm getting is the answer. The answer. What should I do? Or which way should I go? You know, what's the path I should take? Now, what does your heart want? That's the will of fortune. It wants your heart's desire. Your heart desires. It feels like what, what you've always wanted. What, what is your desires? 
you know what what are those um, dreams aspirations you know this is the wheel of fortune you know this is um, you it's like your heart wants fortune your heart wants that oh my goodness and I don't mean that in a bad way that's not a bad way at all it's like your heart wants what your heart has always wanted. It's that type of feeling. Uh, so if you want true love, your heart wants true love. If you want um, to be stable, um, have all your bills paid, um, well, maybe even be rich. That's what your heart wants, you know. Um, I feel like this has to do with a lot with um, like a balanced you know, a balancing of um, wanting it all, wanting the happy life, the happy home, the happy family, um, that perfect, you know, relationship uh, where you have your ups and downs, but it makes you stronger. You know, wanting um, to not have to struggle, to not have to... Um, wonder that's what I get from that you know and then what does your you know what does your soul want well I feel like your soul wants you to stand strong your soul wants you to stand up for you, who you are you know um, let people walk away let people fall away that are not for your higher good that's what your soul wants. Your soul wants you to be free and happy. Your soul wants you to um, shine. You know, and sometimes people have to walk away. That You have to let them go sometimes. You know, it's just not meant. And, you know, if, you're, if your light's not shining, if you're not shining brightly because you're letting people suck you dry, then I feel like that your soul wants you to stand strong and um, let these energies go. You see those swords? You know, cut away the energies, cut them away. Turn into the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Just saying. This is really, really um, enlightful. You know, it's someone wants it all. They they want, and that's beautiful because it's not selfish. There's nothing selfish about this. Um, this has nothing selfish at all about it. It's just pure beauty. It truly is. Let's see. I'm, I think I'm going to take one of these. I haven't planned on it, but if they want to give us one, we'll take one. Exchanging gifts. I feel like that um, some of this is within, but some of it is also, you know, learning and giving thanks, you know, giving, being grateful and getting messages, getting what you need in return. You know, your angels, they, they give you these gifts. You're grateful. That's a gift. I also feel like for some of you that um, you may be exchanging gifts with someone in the near future. I'm getting, um, i just seen the number 22. I don't know if that's uh, significant for anyone or if that is, you know, when someone is going to come into someone's life, um, it could be, you know, the 22nd of a month. It could be 22 days. It could be 22 minutes. 22 seconds. Um, 22 months. That's what I've seen. That was 22. Um, they want me to take one of these.
does feel like someone's coming into someone's life. It truly does. Can I have the card, please? Can I have the one? Thank you. Okay. You got Ace of Crystals. Manifestation and Prosperity. What I tell you? Manifest what you want. Wheel of Fortune's here. This is not selfish. Dream big. Make those aspirations high. Those dreams, those goals. Set them high and manifest what you want. Prosperity. True love, life partner. Go for it. The sky's the limit. Okay, that's what I have for you. That That is awesome. That is beautiful. And I feel like it could hit so many. I really, really, really do. So, with that being said, let me know how you like this. And have an awesome, awesome night. Bye.